I think I got one on here tonight. First one of the night. shed on single guy here oh man I done tailed them other line oh another strapper This one's off a live shed. Yeah, he feels bigger than that last one. Might be another strapper though. Strapper loving the shed. Catfish, channel cat. Decent channel cat. Yeah, four to six pounds, I'd say. That's a big old shad I had on there, too. Big thread fin. That was a live one. He was right up in the shoreline though. So even though the temperatures dropped pretty good tonight in this cold front, they're still pretty up close in the shallows. All right, first catfish of the night. 4.1, 23 inch channel catfish. Uh, hopefully there'll be more to come. Something's, something's pecking my bluegill. Yep. Something hit my bluegill. Yeah, this one feels good. Hopefully we got us a flathead. Off bluegill. Let's see what we got here. Uh, 
there we go. There's a flathead. He ain't a monster, but it's a nice solid flathead right there. Oh, good hook. That was off the live bluegill. Where are my pliers? There they are. See how this cold front on a full moon night is turning out to be pretty good. Two cats and a strapper so far. And I've only been at it an hour and a half. Yeah, he's a good, probably in the teens. Fish grippers here instead of putting them in the old dirty Aldi's bag. Let's see what you weigh. This one. Here I'm. He is, if it stands still, let's see, 10.4 pounds. All right, so 10.4. Twenty-eight inches. Nice flathead catfish. Off a live bluegill. All right, go go gain about twenty pounds. All right, got something else here. This is off a gizzard shed. Uh, I just got hung. Or he's hung. Dag him. It's doing good too. Let's see if it gets popped out. Oh, I got a fish on here. I can feel him. Dag him. He is hung pretty good though. That's the bad thing about fishing structure. And I don't wanna pull all rods and anchors just to try to get this loose though. There it come it. We'll wait and see. All right, we got another one. I just recasted this in a little deeper water. This is a cut thread fin. Still got my other line snagged. I think the fish came off. I don't feel it on there anymore, but the line's still snagged. Oh, he's diving down deep. Yeah, this might be bigger than that 10 pound flathead. Ooh. The net 
it's all the way over there. Work my way towards the net. That's the bad thing about these. Uh, looks like another flathead. He's in the net. Yeah, another nice flathead. Ugh. That was off of a uh, cut thread fin shad. That's the perfect hook right there. You gotta love circle hooks of that. Right there in the side. Yeah, he's a little smaller than the last one. He's probably around eight or nine. Can't get a better hook than that. Oh, well, I'm trying to let the flathead go. Something nailed this rod, but he took my gizzard and left. But, get back to it. Nice 26 inch, 8.1 pound flathead. Second flathead of the night, third cat of the night, fourth fish of the night. You go. All right, I'm about to run out of bait here. Well, this rod finally got free. Of course, the fish got off of it. Felt pretty decent. But at least I got my rig back. But to catch you up to speed here, it is a cold super cold spring night we had a huge cold front come in temperatures dropped down to about 35 i think was the lowest tonight i see on the phone app and that's why all the fog is coming because you know they got the water is pretty warm it's still in the 60s late 50s and the cold air is hitting it but i've just set up in this one spot tonight i've been here about two hours i just got some uh random baits off my cast net got thread fin shad gizzard shad and a live bluegill and i've caught stuff off of all three some cut some live i have just fishing different depths here too i've been catching the flatheads kind of in the deeper holes right here since you know the water temps dropping and when cold fronts come in, the fish kind of go down in the structures. So that's one thing when you're fishing the cold front, fish in structures, which is also why I lost this one because, you know, he hit up in the structure and got hung. But then I caught the striper over there and uh, right up on the shore too, off a of cut shad. But I'll be out here another couple hour or hour or two. Depends how sleepy I get and hopefully we'll get some more in the boat. Now you always hear that full moons are bad for fishing, but you can see it over there. That's a pretty, tonight was a pretty full moon and I did just fine. All right, we got us another one. He feels pretty good. And I'm pretty hung. Daggum it. Come on out of there. I can feel them on there. I 
Not another one. Come on. Wiggle your way out of there. I'll suck to lose two to snags. Hopefully this one will wiggle his way out. Ah, fish and structure. It's a double-edged sword. That feels like a tree branch. Looks like got some give. Really feel him anymore though. Yeah. Pop some slack and hopefully get to those. Oh, we got one over here. Running those snag ones. Oh, another strapper. Those strappers love this cut shed. Followed the hook too. Uh, not as bad. I'm gonna get that one out and save the fish. Oh, he's bleeding me a bit. Let me get that out of him. Oh, I got the hook out of his mouth. He hit and swallowed as bad as the other one. But he's about two pounds, 18 inches. They are just tearing up this cut thread fin and they're swallowing these uh eight odd circle hooks pretty good too i'm gonna check that rod and hopefully the fish has gotten unhung hate to lose another one to a snag but i've got one thread fin lift so I'll probably be calling it here within an hour or so all right we got another one uh, feels like another strapper he hit hard and quick off a cut thread fin I don't know it's hard to tell Decent. Nope, that's a cat. Fat floppy channel. Got one piece of shad left. But it's been a good night. Yeah, croak it out.
Not a bad channel. All right. 5.4 25-inch channel cat, which that's the fourth cat of the night. Let's see, six fish of the day, night, morning, whatever you want to call it. The two strappers. There you go. Took him a while. So I'm going to go ahead and call it for tonight or the morning. I've been at it three and a half hours. Started off about 4 a.m. The bait I was using today was just some stuff I caught with my cast net real quick. A mix of gizzard shad, thread fin shad, white perch, and uh, bluegill. You know, we caught six fish total today. Two strippers off a of cut thread fin. And then the big 10 pound flathead off of live bluegill. The eight pound flathead off of the cut thread fin shad. The four pound channel off of live, big old live thread fin shad. And then the five pound channel off of cut thread fin. I hate that we lost two fish today because of the structure but with the cold front coming in that's why i fish structure so when you have cold fronts coming in you want to fish around their structure in deeper holes because the fish are kind of going down there when the cold front comes in because tonight we had that major cold front air temps dropped down to in the mid 30s plus we had a full moon which as you can see it didn't really affect fish from button but I'm trying to get my last two rods unhung so far I haven't snapped nothing tonight but it looks like this one this is the one that the fish got hung and it's not budging so I might have to end up cutting it but I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did as always like and subscribe